The committee puts the nation's figure of drug addiction at 15 million people, saying it has contributed to the spate of banditry and kidnappings being witnessed across the country. Globally, the prevalence rate of drug use is about 5%, 46 to 5%. And in Nigeria, it's about 15%. So there's a very high number of Nigerians that are using drugs. Nearly 15 million, between the ages of 15 and 64. <clears throat> of that number, about 3 million are addicted to it. Members of the committee believe that religious leaders can help reduce this scourge by preaching to their congregation against drug addiction. The Christian Association of Nigeria can, in agreement, assure the committee of its continued partnership for the development of the nation. That can we effectively and efficiently partner with this cause. Because it's a noble cause. You cannot do anything without the workforce of a country. And once the was called, uh, uh, workforce is destroyed, the future of the country is bleak and is not is in disarray. The FCT minister believes a strong political will is also required to fight this scourge. It's very important also to strengthen enforcement and by extension prosecution. Where the, the numbers are, the figures I mentioned to you, and the resources are not available, obviously you cannot prosecute, you cannot enforce and even prosecute. And in many communities, not even in the metropolis, but in the surrounding satellite towns, we have received complaints from the traditional institution wherever you see, like you rightly mentioned, these substances being openly sold. The Adversary Committee was inaugurated by President Muhammad Buhari in December 2018 to engage relevant stakeholders in the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory in the fight against drug abuse in Nigeria. Oge, Ihimekme, AIT News, Abuja.